Space debris is, is a big problem for all of us on, on, on Earth. Basically, since the start of the space age in 1957, we've had a throwaway culture in space. We've put lots of objects in space and we've basically not removed them. We've not recycled them or done anything else. So there's 10,000 tons of debris in space, you know, near 40,000 objects all floating around in different orbits and they are causing congestion in orbit. And there are collisions happening or lots of other satellites in orbit have to do things like collision avoidance to move out the way of those debris objects, which causes problems for the services they're providing every day for us on Earth. of the rocket variety expected the since pattern of noise generated by Saturn's 1,300,000 pounds. Yeah, it's defunct satellites. Uh, it's objects that have been ejected from launch vehicles as well. It's actually uh, second stages or third stages of launch vehicles. When you see, for example, a SpaceX uh, Falcon 9 rocket launching, the one bit comes back down, that's amazing. I still think that's science fiction. But the other bits, the second and third stages, stay in orbit because they're too high to, to come back down. Vehicles pitching down range. Confirmation of Miko and stage sup. And back ignition. Stage one landing leg deploy. Worst case scenario would be something called the Kessler effect, which is actually a NASA scientist from the 70s that predicted if we, if we don't start to control this debris population, then we would run, have a runaway scenario. Basically, collisions hit collisions and we'd end up with lots of orbits that we couldn't use. And the, another big risk is human risk. We have quite a few yes, uh, astronauts in orbit now. There's going to be more commercial space stations planned over the next few years. So we're probably going to end up with tens or if not, you know, a hundred people in orbit in the next 10 to 20 years. They're at risk too. You know, they have to shelter sometimes because of debris objects that come near the space stations. So that's, that's a problem. It's the human risk and then the risk to our services that, that will happen. Four main lights on top uh, and around shape from shading. Yep. But we're also looking at the laser lines and how these can uh, be used. The different stages of the, the, the ops. To, to go and grab a, a client spacecraft, we need to, to perform a, a complex space ballet where we have the servicer approaching and grasping the client. And to do this, we have a range of system, including the manipulator, that's meant to go and place a gripper in the very tight locations at an adapter ring. And in, in this example, we're using a robot arm to capture the space object in question and then bring it close and then bring it down to a lower orbit and then release it so it can burn up in the atmosphere. And we've removed that debris object then. We will uh, be moving forward into further uh, implementation phases over the next couple of years. We're looking at getting to orbit with this spacecraft towards the end of 2026 and into 2027. So that's the sort of time frame that we are looking at doing this type of uh, debris removal or refueling type technology.
everyone uses space and it's pervasive in society now and we depend on it. So that's the problem. We're using services that are at risk.